Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new episode of Black Sad with your host, Fallen Wolf. So, uh, welcome, welcome back to a lovely series that I've been having a fantastic time with. Uh, last time we left off with Black Sad, uh, we started the game, part one. There, uh, last time, uh, for people that don't know, basically what happened is a murder, the owner of a boxing gym was found hung. Now, obviously, everyone thinks it's suicide, uh, you know, open and closed case, but not Detective Black Sad. Black Sad does, believes there may be an ulterior motive, and we've been hired to determine what the exact cause of death was for the boxing, boxing gym owner. So, uh, currently we're in the middle of doing some, uh, initial investigations for this part. Uh, I said before, I really do enjoy this game. Um, I'm liking what I see so far. Uh, it has a very good feel to it. Um, obviously the game's in color. You, you know, you guys, you guys who girls, people, uh, will not see the game in color. I'm trying to go for the full noir feeling, so it's black and white, and I think it works perfectly. I, I asked a few people, and they, they liked it, so I'm gonna, I'm sticking with the black and white. Come on, kids. I mean, you know, you kids know what it was like to used to watch movies back then when it was all black and white. You had no color. There was no technicolor. But uh, we're looking for a lockpick right now. Yep. That's where I left my lockpicks. All right. Let's see where our lockpick is. Black said, your your desk looks like a your desk looks like a mess. I mean, you need. I mean, he needs to just like take everything and just shove it in the trash. Sometimes, I also use it to type out reports that nobody reads and invoices that nobody pays. Ouch. Yeah, that's, that sounds like a private detective, all right. Bookkeeping is not my strong suit. I'm good with expenses. It's the income I don't get. <laughs> you know, I have to say, I do like Black Sad's humor. I drink like every other detective, yep. You can't really call yourself a detective if you're a teetotaler. But that's not what that bottle is for. The truth? I used tequila to clean my lockpicks. Oh. In fact, I just finished cleaning them when that rhino walked in. Oh. Maybe we knocked them down during the fight. That's clever. Okay, so he uses, uh, he uses alcohol to clean the stuff. What if the only thing that keeps you going is the very thing that won't let you move on? It's too soon to say goodbye. She wouldn't hear me anyway. Still not ready to forget Natalie. Natal N N Natalie, I think sorry. Right. I don't know if that I don't know if the woman in that uh, newspaper has any correlation to um, the comic book, the, the the graphic novel series. The graphic novel series I mentioned before. Currently, the graphic novel series, as of this date of this video, has five volumes. And each volume is a different story, so I'm not sure if that has anything to do with anything. I actually do plan on buying it. I, I saw it on Amazon for, for a reasonable price, and it's a pretty big book. Uh, I think it was about, like, 35 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> for all five volumes in a single What did you package. do to earn the admiration of a millinery culture, distant cousin? I'm looking around the room. It's too soon. To oh, say there she is again. Oh. Okay, there's nothing else. I, I gotta, I'm sorry, I gotta look around the room. You know, like I said, when you play a Telltale game, you look at everything. You look you look at everything. Uh, if people would not play Telltale games, you, you would know. It's in the drawer. Ooh, we got a gun. Some kind of letter. Good old Weekly did a fine oh. job with these pictures. Oh. Maybe I should give him a call. Although I hope he never finds out I turned down a hefty bribe to keep quiet. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. Weekly took very explicit photographs of the rhino and his lover. Um, I'm going to have to censor that for the sake of making sure this game doesn't get demonetized. <laughs> well, not demonetized. Make sure this uh, video doesn't get taken down by YouTube. So that. I wonder if that rhino would ever have the nerve to use it. So, uh, yeah. That, uh, that part of the video, uh, that part's definitely gonna get blurred out. But, uh, let's just say it has some very explicit 
adult actions taking place. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, that's going to be a, uh, I'm going to blur that. Go censor that. Police Commissioner Smirnoff smoked that cigarette. Oh, wow. It's a, it's a dog. Please give me huggy wuggies. Ooh, woo. Judging by the way he put it out, he was pretty nervous. Whiskey. Smells good. Tasted even better the day Smirnoff brought it. In exchange for a favor. A favor no cop should ever be paid for. Oh. Okay, I like these little flashbacks. Oh. I oh, good thing I looked over here. This is why you look. I'm finding all the like little secret hidden cards. Ooh, a piece of candy. 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 But uh, I think that's all right. Oh, no, no, no there's more. Hey, these Marley's are the best at New York Warrior Star. Oh, I get such good noir vibes from this game, and I a love it. A friend once told me that New York City smells like a giant bonfire. I'd say the smell is rubbed off on me. This, you know what? This actually really makes me want to play L.A. Noir. You know what? I actually might. I might just have to stream. I might just have to stream L.A. Noir on twi my Twitch one day. Oh wow! Oh, he's a soldier. He was a. He must have been a soldier. He was a soldier. He looks so oh he looks so bright eyed and happy. What happened? What happened? Black sad? Did did did, uh, did did life get to you? Oh no, he looks so happy. But I but I also guess when I think about two wars, not. Oh another one, Walt Hathaway. Okay. But then again, I guess if you're in the war, you're probably like yeah, war war is hell. As as a good good wonderful man once said. War. Is hell. Yeah, exactly. It's not. War is not a pretty thing. All right, let me grab the lock picks. They must be down here. I think I looked at everything. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Yep. <laughs> oh, come on. Just move the couch. You're smarter than that. Just move the couch. Yeah. I. You knew you could have reached that. Uh oh, QTA. Of course the phone starts ringing now. Look, this could be a heavy couch. There you go. Most detectives feel safe with a gun in their pocket. Me, I prefer lockpicks. At least I know these little fellows won't backfire. Of course the phone starts ringing the minute we... You know, of course the phone starts ringing the... The minute that, uh... Oh wait, oh, I didn't mean to press that. Go back. What's the phone? It's like, it's like Domino's Pizza. How can I help you? Wait, I can't say that word because, oh wait, I can't say that, that company. I might get in trouble. Uh, oh, can we call? Let's call Weekly first. Let's talk about those amazing photos he did for us. Hey, Weekly, this is... John, did you get my pictures? Yes, yes, and... That rhinoceros has one big horn, huh? Uh... And the girl, hot <laughs> damn! You want me to find out her name? Please, pretty please. No, Weekly, look. The rhinoceros came by and offered me money to keep quiet. Wow, are we talking petty cash or big bucks? The latter. Oh, we're not going to tell him. Your boy, Black Sad. No, Black Sad, shut up. No, don't tell him. Yeah, I know. It wasn't the right thing to do. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, let's let's just change the subject. Hey, I heard oh. something weird's going on at I this I didn't want to tell him. What was the name? I'm s I... Dunn's gym. Didn't you have a pal down there? Can I talk to him? I heard a woman's running it now. A boxing gym. Now, that's what I call news. Actually, I'm working on a case for the gym owner. I'll see what I can do, okay? I'll call you. Thanks, pal. You just made my day. Weekly hopes to give him an inside scoop about the gym. I... 
I like, uh... Oh, there we go. Alright, let's see who this is. Where the hell did you go, John? I thought you won the case. I am! I had to Whoa. run an errand. But I'll be back in no time. You made a crappy impression. And now Sonya has second... I went to... Job. I've been investigating! What the... I... Wait! Why is he? She has a crappy impression. I'm invest. He's investigating. I had to go to the diner to talk to the witness. Also, but people, I, I will be right back. Uh, I of course I of course I sat down and I forgot to do. Oh wait wait hold up before we go. I swear there's something over here. No, no no there's something over here. John, there it is. Ha ha! I saw it. I was like there's a card. Got it. I'm gonna be finding a lot of these, aren't I? Uh, but, uh, I will be right back, everyone. Uh, obviously, I don't say it, I'll be right back, but, you know, this is a recording, and there's gonna be no issue for you guys. I will see you in just a moment. Alright, everyone, I'm back. <clears throat> that wasn't long, was it? <sighs> At least not from your perspective. Okay, so I don't know why I don't know why he's mad at me. Like it's like I'm investigating. That's what you wanted me to do, right? Like what the hell? Well, I guess let me hurry back and go back to the All right, so I called Let's call commissioner. Call police commissioner Smear now. Joe Dunn, the boxing coach. You hear anything about his death? Like that. Is that you? You got me. How's everything, Chief? Oh, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Too much work as usual. As for Joe Dunn, he hanged himself in the story. I'm too busy, John. I can't afford to put a single man on the case. Why are you asking? Joe Dunn's daughter hired me. But I still don't get it. Signs of foul play. Mm. His pupil, Bobby Yale. No one's seen him since Dunn hanged himself. Well, his coach killed himself a few weeks before his big fight. Must be drowning his No, it's 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 so. more. I think it's more so, than that. Are you gonna help no. me? I wish I could, oh, John. Damn it. Anyway, I'm afraid I don't have anything useful to share. And it seems like you don't either. But if you do find something, give me a call. Oh man. All time sake. We've been friends for a long time. And you think this is what two friends talk about on the phone? Good to hear from you, John. Take care. Oh, come on, dude. Seriously. All right, that that went nowhere. We're going back to the. Uh, let's go back to the gym because I remember we have the uh, lock picked now. All right, I think we're ready. I guess. Looking back, I wish I'd never found my lock picks. Maybe I wouldn't have gone back to the gym. All hell was about to break loose. Oh. John, don't say that. Oh, no. Oh, no, I don't like that. I don't like you saying that. Oh, boy. But if this is a noir game, you know, there's... If this is a noir game, you know, a staple of noir is a lot of twisted turns and surprises. I'm... I'm... I'm ready. No, not really. I'm... I don't know if I'm ready. But I'll try to be. I'll, I'll try to be, I promise. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Weather change. It's foggy now. A little foggy. And a little windy, it looks like. Bobby Yale's place was on the way. So I decided to drop by. Lock picks in hand. The gym could wait. Mm. Oh, we're going. We're not going to the, back to the gym. Okay. Sonia and Jake had already searched the place, to no avail. Ooh. Doing some sneaky sneaky. There we go. But a good detective would have better luck. Uh, oh no! Oh, that seemed like it, but... <gasps> oh! 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 oh. 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 When someone hits you like that, you know you're onto something. <laughs> it's only fair to show some gratitude. You beat that. 
Oh. Well, well, well. Oh, are you? Long time no see. What the hell? Dude, it's... Oh, how the tables turn. This is the same right now. You help me, so I'll help you. Now leave before my partner. Oh. Damn cat. Well done, Colbert. <sighs> now. <laughs> this, ain't, this ain't fair. How about this? For every wrong answer, I'm going to give it to you with this club. Deal? Hey, couldn't we just talk it out? <laughs> He's gonna beat me. Wrong answer. Oh. First, well, second question. Oh, what the hell are you doing here? Oh, I can do some investigation. A shamrock? Is he Irish? Ooh. Or is he working for an Irish gang? That's the question. It should start to swell any moment now. Hmm. Anything else? I've already seen that. Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, I've already seen it. That's it. One more time. What the hell are you doing here? Are you of Irish descent? I've got an Irish boss, just like my friend Colbert here. I'm sure the name O'Leary rings a bell, right? Desmond O'Leary. If you live in New York City, you've certainly heard of the richest bookie in town. After everything that's happened, I was beginning to feel like this case was finally moving forward. Wrong answer! Oh. But I was wrong. Oh boy. Seriously, what the hell are you doing here? Uh. I'm looking for Bobby Yale. I'm a private eye. Sonia Dunn hired me to find Bobby Yale. I hate to tell. Ow! What the hell, man? Ow! Not cool. Now, where were we? What the hell are you doing here? I swear I'm a detective. And I swear I hate detectives. Ah, right. That looks painful. That probably hurts. Alrighty. Let's try again. Okay, it does not look good. What the hell are you doing here? I know your friend Colbert and his wife. Now he wants to insult you. Alright then. He's all yours. Oh, I did not look good. <sighs> Alright. Now it's your turn. I'm all called the boss. Wow, he really beat me up. Well, I'm not. I want you to yell like I'm beating the crap out of you, okay? Oh, thank you, sir. All right, he's going to help me out a little Desmond, bit. Desmond, we caught some damn detective snooping around Bobby Yale's place. Yeah, hired by Dunn's daughter. Safe and sound? What do you mean exactly? Hmm. Oh, sure. Will do. Colbert, stop hitting him, you beast. What a shame. We were just getting to know each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, oh, you smug bastard, you. <laughs> that, that made me laugh. Oh, jeez. Wow. All right, so we're getting on to something. So we're getting on. So uh, we're getting on to something. Cause why are there Irish, Irish thugs at Bobby Yale's apartment? So something's going on. Oof! I, you know what? I really got hit hard. Black, you know, John got hit hard with that. Oh wait, is that a letter? Oh, hold up! I, I see that in the little corner. Game can't fool me. Thank you, Mr. Blackshad. Does the postman always leave your mail on the floor? I don't know. I 
What's wrong? It's... It's my mother's wedding ring. Had it been stolen? I don't know. My father wore it on his pinky finger after she died. Not always, apparently. Will you find out why? I'll try. But there's something else I'm worried about. This might have something to do with the... Uh... With your father's death. Oh. Oh my, yes. It could be. Aha. Big, bright eyes. Looks well rested. Either she didn't mourn her father, or she really knows how to work that makeup. Hmm. Okay, she, she don't seem like she really is upset. Oh, please tell me I didn't do the wrong thing. Nice and steady okay. heartbeat. I was like, I hope I'm not doing the other thing. I was like, oh, please, John, don't be that person. You're doing so good. Uh, oh. Aha. What the? What's wrong? I was... Someone's taking pictures. Oh, is that what you noticed? Are you sure? I was like, I'll go take a I look. I was like, why is he looking at it like that? Oh, he saw the flash. Now, who's that rope for, Miss Dunn? Mm. Weekly. Uh, 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 oh! What the hell are you uh, doing here? Is he a weasel? Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, look! Isn't that Cassidy? <laughs> Don't change the subject, you sad little... Why don't we settle this over ice cream, huh, John? Just like in the good old days. <laughs> How did you get up here? Uh, uh, I don't want anyone to see you. Oh, this is this is weekly. This is one that's been taking pictures. Hmm. The clues collected allow. Ooh, the clues collected allow new deductions. What does that mean? Everyone, even the most hapless of creatures, has a gift. Something that makes them special, that makes them worth knowing. Foul smelling weekly is no exception. <laughs> no matter what he does, it's impossible to stay mad at him for too long. Mmm. Ah, this bourbon shake is delicious. Want a taste? You know I don't like milk. What? Yeah. So, Joe Dunn hangs himself and leaves his gym to his daughter, which makes her the first woman to run a boxing gym, I think. I don't think he... I don't think Dunn killed uh, yeah, himself. I don't think so what? Do you have a suspect? Any leads? No, it's just a hunch. Although... I don't know who did it. It was a man. It was a woman. Had to be a man if it struggled. I'd say a man did it. Who? Do you have a particular man in Definitely mind? Definitely was like, I think it was a guy. Um. Okay, don't tell me. But it's not like I've done anything to make you doubt. No, me. no, no. I was. I. I didn't know it was timer. I was thinking. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's just a hunch. I wouldn't. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. I've got other suspects, like O'Leary, bookmaker. Desmond Yeah, that's what I was thinking. The same O'Leary who used to date Helen Moore? America's sweetheart? Now that's well, a woman. What is what the woman's face is in this and game? And then there's Wallace. Who was that guy? Oh, come on. You've never heard of Frank Cassidy? The president of the Boxing Managers Association? Who's also Stone's agent, Bobby Yale's rival. Hey, he might have a motive, right? Hmm. He might know something about Dunn's death, right? I decided to ask Weekly to investigate Cassidy. My reasons? Weekly was right. Cassidy could have had a motive to kill Dunn, 
Weekly had already proven to be nosy. The farther I kept him from the gym, the better. But with Weekly, you just never know what the best approach might be. Should I give him an order or a subtle suggestion? I feel a suggestion. I don't feel like he likes... Yeah, you might be right about Cassidy. But, hmm, it won't be easy to make him talk. He seems like a pretty tough cookie. Only a thorough and efficient detective could pull it off. But the problem is, I already got enough on my plate. You're a lucky man, John Black said. I don't follow. You just found the thorough detective oh. you need. Oh, of course. What a great idea. <laughs> How did I not think of you? Oh. Hey, don't sweat it. But you'll have to do me a favor. That reverse psychology. Tell Sonya Dunn that a legendary journalist from What's News wants an interview. Weekly, please. Well, if not, bye-bye, Cassidy. Uh, okay. All right. I'll see what I can do. Great. That's settled, then. Look how big that shake is, by the way. Holy crap. Did, you, did everyone see how big that shake is? Looks like a mountain milkshake. Is that mountain size? Wow, that's, that, was, that was a big milkshake. So, was there really someone on the roof? That's a lie. Yeah, but he was faster than me. I couldn't get my hands on him. A fast spy and a slow oh detective. Oh my god. This must be my lucky day. That was day. not good. I'm sorry, like, gee, she is, she is so, uh, I was hoping because I didn't want to, I don't want to rat out weekly. I'd like to take a look inside that safe now. Could you give me the combination? I'd love to help you, but my mother's birthday used to be the combination, but I already tried it. Ooh. It's a different combination. Wrong password. Alright, well, let's not look at that for now. Don's way birthday doesn't open the safe. Ooh, who's allowed new, new deductions? Dunn kept files on the gym's staff and clients. Name, address, and date of birth. Hmm. Parts of staff information. I'm going to do deductions, but before I do that, I want to go downstairs and let's go downstairs and open that locker. I, th I, I hopefully there's no new, inf there's, I don't think there's going to be new stuff in here because I already looked the first time. Wait, you see that? Look at that stuff glitching out. Holy crap. You guys see that, right? Like, look, the freaking um, text is glitching. Oh, gee, that's not good. I did hear this game does have some bugs, though, uh, before I, I played it. Oh, here we go. Got to censor this again. Let's try to get back as fast as we can away from this, please. I, you know. It's not a very nice word. I'm going to leave it at that. Ooh. Okay, hole and other poems. Abraham Greenberg. Okay, that's nothing special. What about this? Yale's locker is full of surprises. And what's this? Chest expander. Huh. Bobby Yale's chest expander. Oh! Oh, that was in the trash. Ooh, that was in the trash in the back. Oh, now I got three deductions. Okay, let's start doing deductions. Let's start trying to add things. I don't know how this works. Oh, do I got to add? Oh, I add stuff. Okay. Someone threw a chest expander in the trash. And then Bobby, and then Bobby Yale's locker's full of surprises, right? Yep. Okay. Well, I know this much. 
The chest expander in the trash belongs to Yale. Yale killed Dune with, Dunn with a chest expander? I don't think so. Okay. So that chest expander belongs to Yale. Okay, I got two more. Smudged racial slur paint on Yale's locker. Mary calls Dune Dun Joey. Maybe his neat handwriting. So I'm gonna throw a paint can in the trash. Okay, is it this two? Oh, there's more. Here we go. No? Alright, uh... Ooh, wait, is it this? Oh! Okay. Okay. Mary put the wedding ring in the envelope and wrote Sonia Dunn on it. But why did she have the ring in the first place? Mm. Mary had Dunn's wife... Uh-oh, was... Hmm. Okay, things are starting to get interesting. I got one more deduction. And then the last one is... So Mary, I think Mary knew... Mary knew Dunn. I feel like Mary knew Dunn a little more. Yeah, there's... I feel like... She... Ooh, Mary calls... No, because... Wait. Put the ring in the envelope. Mary calls Dunn Joey? Ooh, aha. Hmm. Were Mary Purnell and Joe Dunn an item? Mm. Was that it? Mary and Dunn were seeing each other. Okay. So there was more going on between them. Weekly took very explicit photographs of the item and his lover. Staff information. There's a paint stain. Could this be it? Mary and Dunn were seeing each other and uh, Dunn's wife's birthday doesn't open the safe? Mmm, okay. See, I'm a good detective, hmm. everyone. What if Mary's birthday is the combination to the Ooh. safe? Is there any more information? New de there's still new deductions, too. Okay. There's a paint stain on the gym floor. Mary's birthday might open the safe. There's a smudge racial slur. Uh, I feel like someone threw a paint can in the trash. This, this, and then... No. No. There's a smudged racial slur painted on... Yale's locker. Who do the footprints? Hmm. Really took very explicit photographs of the rhino and his lover. There's one more I'm missing. I'm trying to figure it out. Mary one hour later. Okay, let's um, let's go back and look at the safe. No, I would have figured this out because I'm like, it says I'm missing one. Okay. Mary's birthday might open a safe. Aha. There we go. Okay. Hmm. Mary's birthday that might open a safe on a card on Dunn's. Okay. I was like, what is it? Okay. Because he has information about the staff on those cards. So let me see where her birthday is. I was doing so good, too. That's so sad. Cause I, was, I was like, oh, I'm doing so good. I'm getting like, I'm being a real detective. And then I just start screwing up. Oh, that's the roof. I don't need to go to the roof. So let's go... Let's go check this out. Oh, let's look at the card. So Mary's. And there it was. Mary's birthday. 
a week prior to that very day. Hmm. Be some birthday. He's Mary's birthday. If this works, that's gonna be kind of in very interesting. Ooh, it. Mm. Uh oh. That was the right password. So there's a gun. Hmm. I never would have taken Dunn for a gun owner. So there's a gun. A few bucks. Just petty cash. Okay. Last will and testament. Ooh, his will. Mm. You open the safe? Yeah, and I think you need to see this. Last will and testament of Joseph Dunn. Can you tell me what it says? Oh. All right. I think this might be useful for the investigation, Mr. Detective. He left everything to me, except some boxing trophies and knickknacks that'll go to Bobby Yale. When was it signed? It was written four years ago, just weeks after I moved to Buffalo. Do you think Bobby Yale read it before he disappeared? Maybe. Congratulations. You're one lucky lady. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. All right. Thanks. Okay, that was probably not a good thing. So I guess let's go back to... I, I probably shouldn't have said that. That probably came off as heartless. And I didn't mean to be like that. Uh, Let's go back to the diner. I want to get a little bit done for this video. Let's go back to the diner, and then after that, we're probably going to end, unless something major happens. Yeah, we'll probably, I'm probably going to do this video. I'll go to the diner, and then I'll probably stop. Things are getting interesting, though. So, Mary and Joe, apparently, were seeing each other in secret. Um, apparently, the Irish mob or gang has interest in Bobby Yale's death, because why were they at his apartment? Why were two, two members at his apartment? Things are getting interesting. Now I gotta walk the other way. <sighs> I got some questions some... for you, Mary. What? You know what? You're the only woman who ever called Dun Joey. <laughs> except his late wife. Oh. My goodness. I... I can't talk here. My shift is over in ten minutes. Can you wait a while? Can I get a refill over here, Mary? Coming right up. Mm. Uh-oh. Ooh, things are about to get... Things are about to get really good. I really like this game. It's nice to play something like this. Uh, this makes me want to play L.A. Noir now, which is another fantastic noir-like game, and it's a very well done game. Mary Purnell, the angel Joe Dunn found in his golden years. We'd been seeing each other for almost two years. Mm. It all started with, well. Weekdays, I start cleaning the gym at dawn, before my shift at the diner. Joey always came in early, just a little after I got there. He used to say it was the best time for the worst task of the day. Oh, I know exactly what he meant. Did he help you clean? No! Poor Joey. I would never have allowed that. He did more than enough. Would even clean on my days off. Paperwork. He just hated it. But that was just him. Instead of putting off the things he couldn't stand, he did them as soon as possible. One morning, he saw me crying. I was having a rough day and... <sighs> he tried to make you smile. He pointed at the coffee machine. You need a cup of joe and some fresh air. That was the first of many cups on the rooftop.
which is where Dunn seduced you. <laughs> that word is a bit too much, Mr. Blacksad. You might be too young to understand this, but real love has little to do with seduction. One day, we realized those rooftop coffees were the best part of our day. So we began to spend more time together. But you never told anyone. Why the secret? Why did you keep it secret? For Sonia's sake. She and Joey drifted apart after her mother's mm. death. He was afraid that our relationship would only make matters worse. Until one day, on the rooftop, we realized just how serious our relationship was. And we decided to turn those moments into a lifetime. Ooh. He proposed. So he asked you to marry him? Yes, of course. Mm. He gave me the wedding ring and we decided wow. to tell him. Wow. He said he needed to share that happiness with his little girl. Turns out, he wasn't that happy after all. What about you? How did you feel about telling Sonya? Maybe you already noticed. I, I have a slight. Mm, no. I really should be heading. Nope, home. nope, nope. Thanks for sharing all that with me. Take care. I lost my scarf a while back. Not sure where. And now, if you'll excuse me, that's my bus stop. A pleasure. To I didn't know what to say. I didn't wanna. Uh, I didn't wanna be too pushy. Cause we got a lot of information from that. Ooh. Okay. Mary has a cold. I want to check. Uh, uh, we'll do another like I'll do another, like another five minutes for a call today. I mean, for a call to a video. Hmm, things are getting really interesting. Does he have any more more information? Let me double check. Do you remember anything else about the day you found the thingamajig with the springs and the paint can? Yeah, uh, no. <coughs> wait, 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 yeah. Well, no, now that I think of it, uh, no. <laughs> hey, pal, how about thanking a good-looking goat with a cigarette? <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you need a cigarette. Lung, lung, lung cancer's calling. <laughs> lung. Oh, you know what? Why not? Of course. Here Let him go. have it. <laughs> I. It, this is probably not the best ethical thing to do, but you know what? Hey, he wants. He wants a cigarette. Let him have the cigarette. It's not my. Not my place. Yeah, you think you're not responsible for my pathetic state? I think you're not to blame? Nope, that's on you, sir. It's, just... it's the government that shipped me off the war. They shipped me off, too. Mm. Oh, right. So then you know what it's like to kill, too. Well, then another sad hobo shouldn't be a problem for you, Professor. Yeah, I killed people. And yet, you don't want to help me die. Wait, wait, but uh, that's not what I wanted to say. No, oh, well, that got really you know dark, dude. What the hell? That's dark. <laughs> I, I, no, don't die, sir. The government paid for everything: army fatigues, rations, weapons. Lodging, hookers, drugs. Do you know where that money comes from? <laughs> the taxes! Your taxes, my dear friend. You help them cut my legs. <laughs> they declare war, war. Every chance they get so that the weapon industry that finances their campaigns get gets richer and, and richer and richer 
You know he's not wrong. And that's how we finance their wars. He's so not wrong. the slightest connection with corruption turns us into accomplices. Unless one manages to keep at arm's length. <sighs> that is what I did, my loyal disciple. At the Million Star Hotel. <laughs> so, do you like your master, the Great? Hey, what's your name? You never told me. <laughs> the voice acting for the hobo, the goat hobo, is perfect. Like whoever did the voice acting, it is fantastic. They did a amazing job they did they're right up there with uh right up there with whoever voiced uh john black said i mean he wasn't wrong about the war thing like i'm like you're not wrong uh let's call smirnoff again You're going to like what I have to tell you about the Dunn case. Dunn and the Jim's cleaning lady were about to get married. Great. Call what's news. They'll know what to do with such an incredibly interesting piece of information. The combination on Dunn's safe was her birthday. He even gave her a ring. You know, your typical suicidal bliss. Okay, I'm still not convinced, what? but I might have What the hell? How are you not convinced? Like he just said, he's like, D -d -d he had no reason to commit suicide. He was engaged. He was about to get married. Why would he commit suicide? Uh, it's gonna be one. Of, it's gonna be that game with one of those cases. At least he gave me information though. Out of order. Oh, so here's another scene. Life is off and off key, like a bad song. The notes come together, but feel flat, unable to create anything resembling music. And yet, there are ways to string them together to create harmony. Ways that are not always entirely in our hands. Is that Smirnoff? Alright, so then after this scene, I'm gonna call it a day. I didn't realize I was going to another scene. You look tired, John. <laughs> you look pretty tired yourself. Yep, I'm beat. I'm starving. Just got back from the annual police medical. Not only did I have to fast, but I also had to chug two enormous glasses of water. John, you all right? I'm always all right. <laughs> yep, that's the problem with us men. The thing is, I'd love to help you out with this case, but I can't. You know I work for the state of New York. If I had any information, I couldn't share it with a private eye. Even if it was lying on top of this table. How do your kidneys cross the so much water? You drank two huge glasses of water. How are your kidneys coping with that? Yeah, you're right. Maybe I should uh, go to the... Oh. If you'll excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like this. Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay, I see your game, Smirnoff. I see your game. See what you're doing. Post the mortem report preliminary. Mmm. Also, for the sake of uh, keeping things civil, I'm going to, uh, the the images on the left are censored, just for the sake of, you know, keeping things, um, just f not to make people uncomfortable. I know, I know the mention of suicide at, at, with a lot of people is very unnerving, so just to make sure people don't, you know, people don't feel depressed or concerned.
Now that I actually know how to blur out. Now that I actually know how to video edit and blur out sections. And not a whole image. Found asphyxiate caused by rope around the neck. The neck presented four sha ring shaped marks around the entire circumference caused by said rope. Mm. Okay. Hmm. Swollen and slightly scraped knuckles on the subject's right hand probably caused recent trauma. See, he fought, so he I feel like he fought back. Interesting. Mm. Internal findings. No internal autopsy was performed since external evidence seemed significantly conclusive. Mm. Now I feel even thinner. So do my kidneys. <laughs> Thanks. Truth is, John, it all seemed clear to me before, but now? Please, promise me you won't take the law into your own hands. I'd like to think we're not just vigilantes. Oh, he seems like a good guy. He seems like sure, you can trust me. I give you my word. All right. In any case... Keep me posted, will you? I love how the commissioner is, is a German shepherd. Friend, you can count on it. Take care, John. As always, Smirnoff had given me new, potentially relevant mm. information. Not to mention second thoughts. When an old dog like him gets that serious, one must be prepared to bite. Oh, boy. Oh, all right. We'll do the new dedu let me do the d new deduction really quickly before I uh, end this. Aha! There we go. Finally. All right. Jeez. Dunn punched a paint can, but why? Wasn't he calm and composed? Dunn punched a can. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Ron. I was trying to figure it out. I was like, geez, Dunn must have punched a paint can. All right, I know that's not really much information for the end, but I'm going to end here. Uh, we're going to end here. So we're getting some information. So basically what we figured out is that Joe Dunn was having a relationship, a secret relationship with Mary for almost two years and they were engaged. Sonia so, did not know about it. And we also got some more information about the uh, medical autopsy of Joe Dunn and it and they're starting to get more and more clues that it definitely wasn't a suicide it definitely was somebody I'm thinking some definitely looks more like somebody killed him and played and played an evidence to make it look like a suicide so they can get really interested I'm excited to keep going with this but um this is it for this part though next part I can't wait to see what happens but um before I go like I love to say, I'm really enjoying this uh, uh, v video game. And last time when I played it, it was 15. Now it's back to 40. It is 39.99. It is a fantastic game, though. If you've played any of like the Telltale games, like uh, Walking Dead, um, the Walking Dead series, or uh, Tales from the Borderlands, or Wolf Among Us, uh, you'll get a really good. You'll have a really good feel for how the controls are in this game. But uh, with that being said, though. Lastly, I'd like to say, don't forget, if you really enjoy my content, feel free to like the video, comment, and or subscribe. Uh, it really helps the channel out. The algorithms, um, YouTube algorithms have been kicking my butt really badly with a lot of my videos lately. And, you know, I really, you know, I really would appreciate anybody, like, kind of sharing my videos, letting people know about them, and liking the video. It helps the algorithm not be so pain in the ass if i'm being frank <laughs> but uh with that being said though i will see you on the next part of black sod i hope everybody else has enjoyed it as much as i have but take care everyone uh have a wonderful day this has been fallen wolf Arr! and you've been part of the fallen pack i'll see you next time everyone take care of yourself Mwah! have a beautiful beautiful day bye